At the end of last year, Blizzard dropped the 2024 roadmap for World of Warcraft. And with this being a new expansion year, I thought it could be a bit of fun to speculate a bit about the possible release timelines. Now, in the post BlizzCon interview, several of the WoW team leadership did speak a lot about the eight-week release time and their hope for that to continue. So we know quite a bit about how this year might actually pan out. Now, honestly, a video like this is probably not going to age well, so do feel free to point and laugh at me down in the comments when I turn out to be completely wrong. But let's get back to the speculation. For patch 1025, we know that it's coming out in January the 16th, so we'll use that as the baseline for the rest of this year. Moving eight weeks into the future puts the release date for the mysterious pirate patch 1026 in mid-March. Next up will be the start of Season 4. Now, I've seen a lot of confusion about the release timeline for Shadowlands Season 4, with quite a few folks pretty convinced that it came out with Patch 925. But when I look back at the release dates in the Warcraft wiki for Shadowlands, I found a very different picture. 925 actually released almost three months before Season 4, which itself was a few weeks before 927, and I'm expecting that Blizzard will follow a similar pattern with Dragonflight, which means Season 4 will be its own independent release, and it turns out if we include this in the eight-week cycle, it makes a lot of the other dates line up very nicely this year. All of this means that I'm expecting Season 4 to kick off at the end of April. In between 1026 and Season 4 lies the WoW Alpha. Now, the Alpha and Beta will probably have their own independent release cycle, but I'm thinking we may see this very soon after the release of 1026 in late March. With Season 4 being mostly a Dragonflight Greatest hit season, the PTR probably won't be super active at this point, and dropping the Alpha here will do a lot to fill what would otherwise be a bit of a lull in the WoW news front. We then get to the final patch of Dragonflight 1027, releasing at the start of July, or possibly the end of June. Now, according to the roadmap, we can expect the War Within beta just after 1027 comes out. And while that would be very short compared to most WoW betas, the Dragonflight beta was also super short. So we have a recent precedent for this. While the BlizzCon announcement for the War Within was for it to arrive in fall 2024, the new roadmap puts it on the boundary between summer and fall, and I've seen a few other hints that the team are hoping to get it out a little earlier, which does make maintaining the eight-week cycle even easier. So I'm expecting that the War Within pre-patch will arrive eight weeks after 10 to 7, or around about the end of August. Now, as a general rule, expansion pre-patches tend to last two to four weeks. Cataclysm did have an 8 week pre-patch and Legions was 6 weeks, so I think a longer pre-patch is possible, but I'm personally thinking that it won't be that long and that we'll see the release of The War Within coming at the end of September. This leaves the first patch of The War Within in the last reach of 2024. With a late September release, we'll likely see this drop in mid-November, just before WoW's 20th anniversary event. Now, if we did have a longer pre-patch, I don't think this patch would make it out before this time, which is significant, as this is the patch which, according to the roadmap, does include the event. But anyway, that's my thinking for how 2024 might pan out. I'm sure you'll all have your own thoughts on this, so do feel free to drop a note in the comment. Do you think it will come out later or maybe even earlier? And if you've enjoyed this type of video, do encourage you to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. I do like to speculate a bit well from time to time, so you can be sure that there'll be plenty more of this type of content coming up over the coming months. But for now, thanks for listening.